Now to an NBC News exclusive on a tip that led the FBI to one of its most wanted January 6th suspects, a mysterious woman in a pink beret. NBC's Ryan Riley got that scoop and joins us now. So here we have online sleuths tracking this woman's movements all over the Capitol on January 6th, but the FBI still couldn't identify her. Then one of her exes stepped in. Tell us about what happened here. That's right. So the woman they referred to by as the name by the name Pink Beret uh, was sort of all over the Capitol and was seen in all these various spots. And it was this big mystery for the online sleuths who have now successfully identified hundreds of individuals who stormed the Capitol, including hundreds who have not yet been arrested. But in this case, the uh, Pink Beret became the center of some online conspiracy theories. One of the defense attorneys for another January 6th defendant suggested that she was some uh, somehow a government agent. Uh, this woman in the Pink Beret, she, uh, this defendant claimed, had somehow led, the, uh, led uh, his, the defendant into the Capitol and could have been potentially working for law enforcement. The FBI, trying to shut down that theory, put out a, a tweet about this uh, this individual. And as soon as that tweet uh, sort of hit uh, social media, it really blew up just because of the sort of oddity of the FBI looking for this mysterious woman in a pink beret. Um, so there are a number of jokes that went around online about it, and it just sort of became viral and really blew up. And inside of Joanne Fabric about uh, 12 days ago, was uh, a, a man was standing in line. Uh, he's a clothing designer, and he was standing with his, uh, his buddy of his as they waited to purchase uh, a, a replacement part for his sewing machine. Um, and his buddy sort of just showed him the phone and said, hey, check out this chick. And, uh, and, his, and he looked at it and he said, oh, my gosh. I know her. That's who I, this is my this is my ex. He soon turned her uh, into the FBI. Uh, some other uh, sleuths turned up additional information about her. Um, NBC News was able to confirm her identity, and then uh, after the FBI investigation went on for a bit, she ultimately uh, was charged yesterday on Monday uh, with four uh, misdemeanor offenses. Uh, and has now been uh, successfully identified after this viral FBI tweet, Chris.